leak search in the air handler. I think we got a leaky coil. Let's go down into here. That's a bummer. I briefly leak searched it the other day and didn't see anything, but more than that, I have a communication fault too on my indoor unit. I think I, got, I know what that problem is. I, I, got a, I got a board for that, but uh, we got a leaky blower. We got a leaky freaking coil here. That sucks. It's in warranty, so we'll just have to get a new to get a new coil for it. Let me see if I can pinpoint it. That's all aluminum. I sprayed leak soap all over everything in there. Let's see if I can pinpoint it. seeing anything though. And this board is going into a communication error with with no control wiring hooked up. Um, this is G input shutdown. I've taken that off. So with nothing, no call, no nothing, it's still going into a comm error. So I got a new board for it. We'll go ahead and swap that out. I actually got it for another unit, um, but didn't need it, so let's change it out. Guys, I didn't film any of me putting that board in, but I put it in. Um, then you have to go through a full installation test on those. It relearns the equipment and everything, but all that went fine. All right, guys, new coil acquired with a new TXV. I like to get a TXV with the coil because it doesn't come pre-installed. They use different TXVs for different coils, different units. That's why typically it doesn't come pre-installed, at least on uh, Carrier Bryant's they don't. So we're gonna get this thing pumped down. We're gonna get it swapped out and get this unit to stop leaking. And it's a shame too, because these units are only three or four years old. Whoever installed them never registered them, so they're about to be out of warranty in another year or so. so um, which, which sucks, because these are nice units. They're Brian Evolution Systems, so um, it's going to get real expensive for this customer really quick uh, if other things start breaking down next year. But either way, all right, let's go up there. we got about a 30-minute ride ahead of us. Let's get this thing swapped out, and let's get going. This sucks. I just pulled up and it started raining its ass off. I knew it rained a little bit on the way down here, but as soon as I got here, it opened up. Looks like we're setting up the canopy. All right, we got our gauges hooked up now. Uh, it looks like it probably hasn't lost a whole lot since I was here. It's been about a week since I was here. Got the canopy set up as close to the unit as possible. It's still gonna get a little wet over there, but I'll keep my tools over here. So we're about to get this thing pumped down. You guys, this is a cool feature right here that Brian Evolution and Carrier Infinity Systems have under the service hat here. If you hold that down till it turns green, we'll get into our service menu here. And then we'll scroll down and go down to refrigerant charging. If we click that, we have some options here. And what we're going to be pressing here is the pump down mode and what the pump down mode is is it actually pumps the system down for you for a certain time period now you can pump it down in heating or cooling mode but i still like to close the valves when i do it but 
it's just a cool feature that this has. It will pump it down for you and keep it pumped down. Now, what that function does is it opens all the EEVs 100% and it ignores the pressure switches. So you can pump it down and not have to worry about it cutting out on the pressure. All right, here's our air handler. We're gonna get it opened up. It's taped up like this because um, I've seen guys do this before. When they first install them, they get a duct blast test done. And they do this. They tape up all the seams and everything so they can um, pass their duct blast test. Because if it fails by just a couple CFM, it, they will fail at the duct work and say they have to redo a bunch of stuff. So they tape up all the seams to get it under a, the certain... CFM loss. All right, guys, we got panels off. We got it cut free, got the condensate off. We just got to pull this thing out. Now with these kind here, it's actually not even attached. It's just a tight fit. If you grab hold of it and pull, it'll come out. So we're going to get this out of here, take it outside and we'll get the new one in. All right, got the old one outside here now. It was leaking down here somewhere. I could, I could never really pinpoint it, but it's leaking from down here. I'm guessing in one of these U-bends. All right, so we do have a pre-installed TXV, but no pan. That's whatever. Good thing my pan's good. Um, they told me the TXV wouldn't be pre-installed. Hmm, someone was wrong. All right, so we got to get the old one off the uh, off the old pan. Okay. All right, we got our old pan off here. Gives us a chance to inspect it and also clean it. You see a little bit of slime in there. We'll get that cleaned up before we put it back in. Because see, there's oil here too from it leaking. So we'll get that cleaned up. Just hit her with the Tri Power HD. Put that in with a brush. All right, got the old pan put on the new coil. And I'm just going to box up the uh, the old coil for warranty and just throw it in the box real quick. All right, getting our nitro set up here for brazing. My knob broke off here, so I got to do it with a screwdriver. I need to just get some sort of knob to put on there. I'm not sure. Maybe they sell a replacement one. I don't know. Let's just bring this up. About right there. Should be good. All right, we're going through our high side and letting it just dump out our low side there. All right, we got our... I almost uh, I connected these before I put this panel back on. That would have been a epic fail, but I got the panel back on. We're about to braze these up right now. All right, we're brazed in now. I was having trouble getting my solder to flow for some reason. I don't know if something going on with my brazing rig or what, but I got a little bit of pressure on it now. She's holding. Um, I'm gonna go pump it up with the rest of the nitro and then let it sit for a while, let it sit. All right, we'll pull a vacuum. While we're pulling a vacuum, we'll put everything back together. All right, we got our filter dryer in too. That was a bitch to get to. Old one down there. New one's a lot smaller than the old one, but that's uh, with these Bryant systems, they send a filter dryer loose with the unit. So that's the, uh, looks like one of the ones they send. Definitely looks like one of the ones they send. So, in hindsight, I probably should have moved it upstairs and just scabbed a piece of copper in there, but I almost forgot about it till I came down here. So, it went back down here. 171 on her. Let's bring that up. Bring that up higher. And I'm sure glad I had this canopy because it's been raining its ass off. I mean, sometimes it'll 
be nothing, but sometimes the heavens will open up and it'll pour its ass off. All right, we're gonna bring her up to about 400. Let that stabilize. All right, she's been holding about 402 for a while now. I think I'm gonna blow this nitro off and we'll hook up the vacuum pump. All right, we're pulling our vacuum now. While that's pulling, I'm gonna go up and uh, finish everything with the air handler. All right, we got her back on now. My sub cooling is up and down right now. It hasn't really found its stable point yet. Might have to add some, but I'm gonna let it. Uh, I'm gonna let it even out first. Look at the data plate here. See if we have a subcooling printed uh, it just says label and they're EEVs also so they're kind of up and down but might add a little bit more to see if we can get our subcooling up a little bit but not looking too bad the superheat's right on because of the variable speed compressor and the EEVs can adjust themselves and they're probably preset for a like a 10 or 12 degree superheat that's what it's constantly looking for all right we didn't even add a whole pound really but we got our sub cooling up to about 10 almost 11 looking pretty good We'll monitor it for a little while but uh, i think we might be good here well guys i'm absolutely drenched from putting everything away the canopy kept me dry while i was working but i had to put everything away so but we got that one all done taken care of i'm glad to be done with that one because we did uh communication board and filter dryer and coil in that unit so i'm glad to be done with that one but it's still raining its ass off, guys, so I don't know what else I got going on today. I think I got a service call not far from here, but hopefully it lets up some. But either way, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to drop a video Monday of that thermal imaging camera I've been talking about, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, catch you on the next one.